Chapter 23 Fast Forward Merging The simplest kind of merge Git can perform is a so-called fast forward merge. A fast forward merge can only occur when one of our two branches has seen no changes since the moment we branched. As it happens, this is the exact scenario we are in right now. We created a new my-feature branch and have added two commits to it. However, our main branch, the one we branched off on to create our my-feature branch, all this time has just been sitting there. Nothing has changed and nobody has added any commits to the main branch. So now, if we switch to the main branch and ask Git to merge the my-feature branch, all Git really has to do is move the head and main labels to the tip of the my-feature branch. It doesn't even have to create a merge commit. All it needs to do is move a bunch of labels because these branches never went in different directions. One went ahead and got two new commits while the other just sat there and it can now just catch up. To try this ourselves, we should first switch to the main branch using the git switch main command. Then we can merge the my-feature branch with the git merge my-feature command. Git will merge everything and even tell us it's doing a fast forward merge. If we look at the commit log with git log, we can see that no commits have been added to the log. The most recent commit is still the one with the manage expectations through better phrasing commit message, which was the second and last commit we did on the my-feature branch. This confirms that all git had to do to merge this was move labels around. But that's not the only thing git did though. If you run ls again, you will find that the feature.md file is now present. So git not only moved labels, it also used git checkout under the hood to make sure that our current working directory is in sync with what is stored in the DAG. Every time we move head, either explicitly or as a side effect of what we asked git to do, such as merging a branch in this case, git will ensure that our current folder is kept in sync with what the DAG tells it it should be there.